My training, it start from early in the morning. We would go in and we'd probably have uh, 30 minutes of shadow boxing and going over techniques and drills. And then you might do a, a bike session after that. After lunch, next session then in the afternoon could be uh, sparring or else strength and conditioning. Your timing is probably more important than your strength, uh, to be honest with you. Like, if you have the correct timing, you're going to land the shots better. As well as strength and, and timing, uh, speed, um, more so than anything. If you have good speed, that should do the job. And footwork. If you're ever watching the fight, you should watch down on, at the boxer's feet. I like to be agile on my feet and be moving all the time. In boxing, there is two stances. So if you write with your right hand, then you will be an orthodox boxer, meaning your left foot will be forward. Bring your left hand up, bring your right hand up. So you go hands up, chin down, elbows in. So if you call a jab, it will be with your left hand. So if you're right with your left hand, then you will be a southpaw. Again, feet shoulder width apart, step your right foot forward, turn to the side slightly, bring your right hand up, hands up, chin down, elbows in, right hand will come out and it will come back in again. Some people box left and right, so they're called switch hitters. I'm a bit of a switch hitter myself, I like to change it around in a fight. It sometimes can confuse your opponent. I would suggest if you're starting out and you're only new to boxing, after a couple of months of when you get used to one stance, try in the southpaw as well. If you go, if you say you do a jab 10 times on the left side, then do it 10 times on the right side. Try and perfect it in both stances as well, so that will make it an all-round fighter.